Hi there YouTube. Right, so, we've got most of the van wiring done. I wasn't going to film it all because it's, yeah, boring, just feeding the wires up and down the van. Basically, what we've got now is everything's run through in the conduit. Everything will be running. That's the back of the van. Going to have a bed across there. There'll be a wall coming down here. And just behind that wall, that's where all the electrics will be. So everything's now run all the way through the van. All the way along, nicely in conduit. Everything is labelled, so once all the insulation and everything goes up, we'll know what everything is at the end. Label both ends. Let me know what's going on. So, something I wanted to talk about was most people do a switch to turn the light on, turn the light off, turn the fan on, or whatever you need to turn on in your van. But I haven't seen many people do what they call two way switching. So, basically, what I'm going to have is if you look at the van over here, we're going to have a table coming out, my kitchen unit, which will have a zinc sink on it. And as you walk in, there'll be a switch to turn on the lights. But once we're in the van and everything's sorted, and I've gone all the way to the back of the van and I'm in bed at night, what my plan is, is over there, where that wire is there, there's going to be another switch to turn all the lights off. So I don't have to get up and walk all the way to the front of the van. Now, the way you do it is two-way switching. But I haven't really seen anybody do an explanation on it. So if you give me a minute, I'll set it up how you wire a two-way switch on a 12-volt switch. And then I'll show you how it's done. Right, so here we are. Everything's wired up. I'll run through the wiring with you. But it's quite simple. So, two switches, three pins on each. So what you're going to do is on your first switch, which will be that one over there, on the middle terminal, you're going to take a wire, run it from your battery, all the way along, all the way around to your switch. Once you get to the switch, you're going to connect it to the middle pin. From there, you're going to go to your other switch, and take a wire off from the middle pin again, run it round up to your LED light. Then from your LED light, you're going to take the negative all the way back to your negative of your battery. Then what you're going to want to do is take one wire and connect it. Basically, if you can see that, from the negative on the one switch to the negative on the other switch. Then you're going to take another wire and go from what they want to call the positive on the switch round to the positive on the other switch. That wire configuration will give you two-way switching. So basically, just so I don't blind you, what's going to happen now is if I walk into the van at night and I turn the switch on it'll turn the light on but now if I've moved around to somewhere else in the van say the back of the van where I want to turn that light off I can then use my other switch and turn the light off if I then leave the van come back and I want to turn the switch back on again it'll turn back on same again I can turn it off here move across Turn it on, turn it off. So that's basically two-way switching, which is, I know it's a small space in a van, but if you come in the van, turn the lights on in the front, maybe got into bed or whatever, and you want to then not get out of bed, you could have a switch by your bed to turn the lights off again. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. So yeah, that's what I'm going with.